kill well and often. Brother, write then. Sister, stay safe. Need something? Just come back alive and I'll be happy. Truly? So, is it true? Until next time, brother. Until next time, sister. I heard about what happened. Happy hunting. Here's your payment. Kill well and often. Happy hunting. You're referring to that blacksmith contract. Go on now. Time to get your hands bloody. But to be outnumbered twenty to one. Tell me, sister, are the stories true? You must be talking about the caravan job. Tell me, brother, are the stories true? Word certainly travels fast, doesn't it? Just one right now, actually. Your payment for services rendered. Your payment, as per the usual. Well, what word of the Emperor? Your latest exploit certainly has the sanctuary talking. Ah, you must mean my little adventure on the ship. Your payment, for a job well done. Ooh, cocky. There are, indeed, three to be exact. In any event, nice work. Here's your payment. Here's your payment. Well earned, indeed. I'm sorry I don't. Come see me again later. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. But I digress. Here's your payment. Here's your payment. Well earned, as always. And he's right. Your payment, my friend. Well done. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. By Sithis, now I am truly impressed. Come now. What everyone else is saying. It can't possibly be true. But who knows? I've been proven wrong before. But I'm sure you've got plenty to keep you busy right about now, hmm? Just not by you. Ah! Well done, well done. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. This place is already starting to feel like home. <laughs> Must be all the bloodstains. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I believe you are. Very well, then. I'll follow you. Till I'm dust in the breeze. You do realize that. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Yes, listener? Hmm. Well, that's sure to throw a branch into Falkreath's well-oiled political machine. Ah, so the hunter came to know the fear of the hunted, hmm? It's the part with the severed head I find most impressive. My compliments. Ah, going for the mysterious and brooding thing, hmm? Well, yes, two of them. But you're reaching the end of what I have available. The temple contract? Well, I certainly won't deny my involvement. <laughs> if you're still breathing in a few weeks, I'm sure we'll be the best of friends. To kill triplets secretly and then have the whole thing blamed on the mother. Remarkable. It was a suicide mission. Astrid said as much. Yet here you stand, hale and hearty. The Redoran contract? Yes, you heard correctly. In and out of Vardenfell in less than 48 hours. I'm just trying to imagine you hiding inside the body of a mammoth. Bloody brilliant idea. Things proceeding well, listener? You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship Red Wave. I'm afraid that concludes our business. You have exhausted all available additional contracts. Well, I just did what had to be done. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm just glad I lived to tell the tale. To kill a pirate captain on our own ship, no less. Simply masterful. I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, a servant in Fort Greymore. Now, of course, I must ask, killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Killing him secretly will certainly make things easier on you. But if there are witnesses, so be it. I give you three days before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. Kill these two, and I'll have one last contract to give you. I'm just finalizing some details now. That said, if your attack on Varane is witnessed, those Markarth guards are going to be none too happy. Ah, 
Contracts like that are few and far between, it seems. Makes me long for the old days. Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. But really, a hawker, some twine, three wood elves, and a hatchet? Points for creativity, if nothing else. Oh, you mean in that manor house during the thunderstorm? Eh, what can I say? It happened, just like you heard. Hmph. <laughs> Been a while since I've actually cleaved someone in two. Forgot how hard it was to get the scimitar back out. That may work for your targets, but you'll find I'm not so easily impressed. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents, especially near water. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. He is, by all accounts, the worst bard in all of Skyrim. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much, either. Save the niceties for now. I have no intention of getting invested in someone who may be dead tomorrow. Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Oh, is that all? Really? The contracts I dole out are fairly simple. Go to a location and kill the target. But this is different. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. There's Dekas, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandrew Joe, a traveling caravanner. And a Noriath, a hunter. Hmm. <laughs> How about instead of giving you another contract, I simply deride you for not finishing the one you still have? More work? My friend, you still haven't finished the last two contracts I gave you. Let's get those done, hmm? Don't worry, my friend. I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a defenseless old woman. Infiltrating an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. What do you need, listener? Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytild, a mine boss. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated, whichever works for you. You infiltrated the position, eliminated the target, and made it look like an accident. Impressive. I'd say you earned your bonus on that one. I've been expecting you. Go on now. You've not only earned your payment, but my respect as well. And believe me, friend, that does not come easily. Yeah! As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Yeah, well, don't expect many more stories like that in my future. I'm getting old. Being that amazing takes too much damn effort. And let's not forget her crew, loyal and bloodthirsty, the lot of them. Killing Gaius Morrow in a city will be challenging because of all the guards, but fights, even murder, are fairly common. As a matter of fact, I do. Two of them. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. The ship travels the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Good luck. Happy hunting. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. I see you're back from Dawnstar. They till lies dead, I hope. Ha! Clearly we should have killed that old bastard years ago. So many contracts, so little time. Ugh! Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available. 
to be completed at your leisure. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. <laughs> What do you think? Some more Nern root, maybe? Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. <sighs> Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Slaughtering the Emperor's cousin? At her wedding? Those guards will be out for blood. Wouldn't surprise me if the crowd jumped in, too. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. More work? My friend, you still haven't finished the last set of contracts I gave you. Why don't you concentrate on eliminating that final target? Your targets are a dark elf wizard named Malaril in the dwarven ruin of Mazinshaleft, and Helvard, the housecarl of Falkreath. Apparently, so many people sought his death, Astrid had to hold a lottery to determine the client. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat, and those hours, the murder. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of, else you'll end up like our own Babette. Ugh! He's an accomplished wizard, and locating him may be challenging as he travels with the caravans. Hmm. I wouldn't worry too much about this Varane giving you the information you need. Give him a good scare, and he'll squawk like a hag raven. Those caravanners can be an elusive bunch. Takes a fair bit of stalking to take one down. But then, that's half the fun, isn't it? It's all thanks to a special technique I developed. I call it the razor-winged butterfly. I teach it to you, but then I'd have to kill you. So it would appear. Though I'd suspect she'd want you to complete your other contracts first. Do those, then we'll talk about something new. Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Ha 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 ha! You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. This is my final contract, and certainly the most challenging. Be careful with this one, my friend. You're alive. Then I guess you haven't paid a visit to the vampire yet, hmm? You can't be serious. No new boots? Does this mean the Argonian is still alive? Going after Cicero now would be a fool's errand. That little jester is currently being digested in Arnbjorn's stomach. Mark my words. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. My past is long and storied and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. Yes, you're killing the Emperor himself. The Dark Brotherhood will get one shot at this, and you've been given the honors. So don't screw up. Ha! I knew it, you rascal! By Sithis, the old man was worth the trouble. He's a hapless beggar living in some ruins just outside the village of Iverstead. Easy, even for you. Come now. You're joking with old Nazir. Surely the Emperor's life was worth more than that. Why, you insolent little bastard. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself and I have never looked back. He's the housecarl of Falkreath. You know what that means? He's the bodyguard to the Jarl himself. So be careful. Have you seen Astrid? She needs to speak with you. It seemed urgent. Come talk to me afterward. Oh! She's a maid, old and feeble. But with this contract, it's much more a matter of where than who. <laughs> How went your meeting with Enodius Papias? 
Did you prove his paranoia legitimate? Oh, you dare invade my home? Should have figured the little lunatic would completely snap. Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like you. <laughs> no, definitely not like you. Your political affairs are your own. But any allegiance you may have in the ongoing war could very well affect your access to Fort Greymore. I'm with you, listener. Psst. You'd think an emperor would fetch at least twice that. Damn that motherless cheapskate multi-air. Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Good luck. And try not to get yourself killed. Please tell me you flayed that horrible bard alive and made a drum from his skin. <coughs> so, thanks. Hey! By Sithis, help me! So, what of the old beggar Narfi? Is it done? Has he groveled for his last septum? <coughs> Who's there? The Wood Elf may run a stall in the city, but he retreats to the plains outside Whiterun to hunt. Kill him there, and no one will bear witness. Is that the best you can do? The jobs Astrid gives you will be more important, and usually more complex. Just keep your wits about you. And for Sith's sake, don't get killed. I am a child of Hammerfell. Born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. <clears throat> That's the end of that. Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim. That's for damn sure. Where'd you go? Ah, yes. The pirate captain. A ruthless she-devil, by all accounts. Deadly with a blade. Stop. Turn around and go back the way you came. Astrid is waiting for you. She's down near the entrance. You must have passed right by her. Ah! As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. Die! The contract is for the male, Hearn. But you'll probably have to contend with the female, too. So for Sithis's sake, watch yourself. I think so. Just hold on a moment. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Ah, back from Fort Greymore. The old servant has been put out of her misery, I hope. You smell like dead cat. Can I assume Mirandrew Joe has been taken care of? <clears throat> By Sithis, you slew everyone. Well, except for that one you kept alive to serve as witness. Does your wickedness or your skill know no bounds? You may be the listener, or you may just be a lunatic who's started hearing voices. Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. Does she? Listen, sister. Astrid is my mistress, and I worship the ground she walks on. But this Cicero business has her a bit paranoid. What was that? Yeah! Hmm. No arrows protruding from your skull. Can I assume Anoriath is dead, then? You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. No! Now you're mine. I knew I heard something. He's a vampire and has blended into human society for years. He's never far from his female companion, Hurt. Also a vampire. You're dead! Ugh. Ha! Found you! Got to admit, I find the Night Mother's presence comforting. I'll get you. He's an Argonian layabout. Likes to scavenge shipwrecks. My guess is he'll run if threatened. 
or swim, if given the chance. That'll teach you to cross me. Yeah. There. Fair you are. Yeah. And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? What? Well, what did she say? Hmm? Ah. Amand Motier? But that would mean, I wish I had more contracts to dole out. You handled those jobs like a born killer. No one here now. Come back here. Does she? Listen, brother. Astrid is my mistress, and I worship the ground she walks on. But this Cicero business has her a bit paranoid. Where'd you come from? Guess it was nothing after all. Must have scared him off. I must have been hearing things. I'll follow you till I'm dust in the breeze. You do realize that. The Dark Brotherhood is on the rise again, listener. I can feel it. She separated from her husband several months ago. Now the two run competing mining operations. Baytild's angry and desperate. A fighter. Ah! I'm not done yet. Damn it, no more! Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, eh? Haven't you talked to Astrid? She's by the pool greeting the Night Mother and her little jester. She has a contract for you. Come see me afterward. Ah! He's dangerous, very dangerous. A rogue dark elf mage doing research into dwarven artifacts should be both respected and feared. Oh, well in that case, lead on. I'm right behind you. Ah! I'm going to find you. Come on. Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. <coughs> so you are alive. I was starting to wonder. In any event, here's my advice. Go to Riften's Ratway. Find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before, no? I haven't been touched like that since I visited a certain brothel in the city of Sentinel. Come on! We've got to find a <coughs> way out of here. Come on, show yourself. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. No. No, this cannot be. Show yourself! Enough of this! Considering most of us are now dead, I, I assumed as much. <laughs> She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! <sighs> you haven't faced that pirate captain yet, have you? Safia? I only ask, because you're still alive. You're pathetic! Where are you? You can't get away from me. You're as good as dead. Taking care of that layabout Dekas yet? Or does the idea of killing a fellow Argonian make your scales crawl? Back from your little vacation in Falkreath. So did you enjoy the sights? Sample the food? Kill the house, Carl? The new initiates are working out well. Eager, dedicated, and not afraid to get their hands wet. Faw! Damn you! This place is already starting to feel like home. Must be all the bloodstains. You can't hide forever. You'll pay for this. I will tell you. You already know all that I know. Gods, the pain. There's nothing more I can teach you. Will there ever come a time when the people of Skyrim no longer need our services? I think not. You've already learned all I can teach you. If I am to die today, so be it. But you'll not soon forget the Dark Brotherhood. One more pull. How went your encounter with Marandru Joe? Back in Hammerfell, I always loved watching two cats rip each other to shreds. Astrid, by the sands I... Still can't wrap my head around it. I don't know, Babette. Looks like he may have suffered a head wound. Best not let him out of our sight. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. 
flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <coughs> roasted alive. Come on! I don't know, Babette. Looks like she may have suffered a head wound. Best not let her out of our sight. You just worry about fulfilling the contract. I'll take care of things on this end. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Astrid did the right thing. And now it's your turn. End her suffering. Maybe I'll make the potage le magnifique, huh? You may have killed the gourmet, but true artistry never dies. <coughs> Damn it! There's got to be <coughs> a way out of here! <coughs> Maybe I'll make the potage le magnifique, hmm? But not the way you make it. <laughs> no, certainly not. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. So, you've returned from a Zinchaleft. A dwarven ruin. What an exotic place for a kill. Assuming Malaril is actually dead. Look for a way out. We are not going to burn to death in our own damn sanctuary. Excellent. Now we can get back to business. I think it's best we just forget this ever happened and move on, hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... Why am I not surprised to learn Cicero is alive? I still can't stomach the little clown. But if you've welcomed him here, I won't question it. Listener, please. If Cicero is going to be a part of this sanctuary, I'll accept that. But can't you do something about the... dancing? Good. I'll spread the word that you've made reparations. Now let's forget the past and get back to business. I learned to cook for my father. Ah, but that was a long time ago. Before, you know, I killed him. But let's not talk about that now. Then I suggest you collect it. Until you pay the fine, you are effectively cut off from all Dark Brotherhood duties and contracts. I understand, listener. And I hope you understand that until the fine is paid, I must insist you refrain from all Dark Brotherhood business. <laughs> All right, then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Moltier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. You may be listener and head of the sanctuary, but your recent behavior sets a bad example. I must insist you pay a fine of three hundred gold. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <coughs> well, maybe I did. But you saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. You disrespected the Brotherhood, and it'll cost you. You want back into the family? You pay the price. Five hundred gold, and all is forgiven. Not ready. Well, my arrogant little sibling, until you pay the fine, the Dark Brotherhood holds nothing for you. No contracts, no rewards, no respect. I'm going as fast as I can, you stupid she-devil. I don't see you helping. He lives just outside Anga's mill in the woods. He was once the miller. Now Papias is just a paranoid recluse who thinks someone is out to get him. Listen, when you're finished with this emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go!